Hello and thank you for visiting our Steric Comparator Squared video. My name is Jerry Hiller and I'm going to briefly show you the advantages of using our HDV video comparator systems over traditional optical comparators. Some of the mechanical differences you'll see on our HDV system is that we do not use mirrors in the back like an optical comparator. Instead, we use a video camera. One of the other advantages or differences that we use an LED lighting system here instead of your traditional fiber optic system you get on an optical comparator. We also use LED lighting for our profile light. This system actually is a CNC controlled system. So the table is moved by a joystick. We also offer a manual movement system where the stage is moved by knobs. The other nice advantage of a video system is that it is touchscreen. So I can just come up here, use my finger, and I'm actually measuring those specific features on our part. Now let's dive into some details on the software. This software is from a company called MetLogix. It's called M3. As I mentioned, it's touchscreen. We can also use our mouse to capture features. It's a matter of putting your mouse on the edge, clicking, and the software automatically measures that, those lines. Once it's on there, then we can come in. We can do things like measure the distance or the diameter between these two lines. We can also measure angle. And if you'd like, you can annotate those measurements just by using our annotation tool. And we can come up here and it shows our measurements. I've changed the orientation of my part so that you can see the blind features on the end of it. These are features that you can't see through profile lighting. This is using the LED lighting here. So from this orientation in this lighting, what I can do is I can come in and measure the circle just through dragging my mouse. And I can also measure this gray area automatically as well. Now once we have our measurements on the screen, we go to what's called a part view window and we can take measurements. So if you want to see the distance between these two circles, we can just select them. Click Done. It defaults to measuring the centers, but I can measure the nearest distance and the furthest distance. The other thing I can do is I can use GD&T to tolerance this part. So I'm going to choose Circle 2. I'm going to go to my Tolerance window. I'm going to choose Concentricity. I'm going to choose Concentricity to Circle 1. We'll set something, a tolerance of, let's say, 10 thou. And then this is our deviation. So we're looking about 3 tenths deviation. One of the optional features offered in the M3 software is thread measurement. Thread measurement is quite easy to use. Make sure it's on the screen. You click and highlight your threads. Click enter, done, and here are your results. The O stands for the outside or major diameter. The R is your root or minor diameter. Your P is your pitch diameter and your L is your lead. From here, the software will also calculate the size, 916s here, the pitch, 24, and you have the option of choosing the class. In addition to walking up and doing quick checks, M3 gives you the capability of programming a part and running it automatically. So it's easy as putting your part down, make sure a particular feature is within the field of view, I'm going to say play. It found the, the part in the program, and now I just click the screen where the pattern is, and it will proceed to run it automatically. Once the program is finished, it's going to show you a report. M3 software gives you four different reports. 
In this case, we're using CSV or comma-separated comma values. From here, we can output to a printer. We can save it as a PDF, and we can ex also export it to an SPC package or to Excel. One of the nicer features of M3 is ability to use CAD files. There are two ways you can use them. The first of which I'm going to show you is just bringing in a CAD file as an overlay with some tolerance bands. As you can see, this is uh, my outside, this is my inside. I've set this for 10 thou. What we can do is we can move this part around our stage or around the screen and it will show you whether you're in or out. The second way you can use a DXF file is through auto programming. I've gone ahead and imported this CAD file and over on the right you'll see a number of lines and arcs that came in from CAD and I'll just click enter and we'll go ahead and play the program. I want to thank you for viewing this video. I hope it was helpful. I'd like to welcome you to contact us and set up a custom demo using your particular parts. We can be reached at the email address below.